Hello everyone. My name is Nishanti Rajapaksha. I am an inspector engineer in plant and engineering team. Today, I will be talking about crane safety and work health and safety legislation in Western Australia. The work health and safety legislation has defined the crane. A crane is an item of plant intended for raising, lowering a load and moving it horizontally including the supporting structure and its foundation. There are a range of tower, bridge, gantry, portal boom, derrick, vehicle loading and mobile cranes. A range of multipurpose powered mobile plants including multipurpose tool carriers and telescopic handlers may be classed as cranes in some operating configurations. In the past five years, total crane-related one death and 213 injuries have been reported to Work Cover WA. The fatality involved a worker hit by a moving object while crane was operating. Out of these injuries, 49% was due to being hit by a moving object, 28% due to body stressing, 16% due to false strips and slips of a person. Lifting is a high risk activity due to the inherent risks involved. Knowing the cause of incidents can prevent a future incident. Cause of incidents could be no or inadequate exclusion zone, crane buckling or collapsing, lack of employee training, mechanical failures including of chains or other lifting equipment, contact with power lines, inadequate inspection and maintenance, improper setup, unstable ground or unstable crane, overloading or shock loading, and many more. The Work Health and Safety Act 2020 and associated regulations came into effect on 31st March 2022 and sets out requirements for providing safe and healthy work environment. Now, WHS law in WA is in line with other jurisdictions in Australia except Victoria. If an organization's activities are covered by the WHS Act, it must ensure the health, safety and welfare of workers, volunteers and other persons who are at or come into contact with the workplace. As mentioned on this slide, all these range of people have specific responsibilities for cranes. These duties are not transferable. A person may have more than one duty. More than one person can have a duty. Everyone in the workplace has a work health and safety duty. Following cranes are required to have its design registered. Gantry crane with safe working load greater than five tons. Bridge cranes with safe working load greater than 10 tons. And any gantry or bridge crane which is designed to handle molten metal or dangerous goods. And tower cranes, including self-erecting tower cranes, mobile cranes with rated capacity greater than 10 tons. Out of these four types of cranes, tower crane and mobile crane are required to have item of plant registration. Tower crane and mobile crane require both design and item of plant registration. A person conducting a business or undertaking that designs a crane can apply for design registration. A person with management or control of a crane can apply for both design and item of plant registration. WHS legislation in WA recognizes 
registrations of cranes in other states under a corresponding law. Altered plant designs must be registered if the altered design may, may affect health and safety. A registration holder must give the regulator written notice of any changes to the registration holder's name or any of the information referred to in Regulation 250, 255 Part 1, 266 or 268 Part 1 within 14 days after the registration holder becomes aware of the change. A person conducting a business or undertaking must ensure so far as reasonably practicable that the health and safety of other persons is not put at risk from work carried out as part of the conduct of, of the business or undertaking. Identify hazards, conduct a risk assessment and control the risk. Some hazards are multi-crane operation, multi-crane lifts, presence of overhead power lines, overloading, insecure load, inadequate exclusion zones. Develop and implement safe systems of work. For high-risk construction work, Regulation 299 applies. If it is not high-risk construction work, then still need operating procedures. Follow manufacturer's instructions. Operator, dogger and rigger are adequately trained and hold relevant license. Schedule 3 sets out high-risk work licenses and classes that are within the scope of each license. Schedule 4 sets out qualifications required. When an earth-moving machinery is used as a crane with capacity exceeding 3 tons, operator high-risk work license will commence from March 2024. Maintenance, inspection and if necessary testing of the plant must be carried out by a competent person. In accordance with manufacturer's recommendations, if it is not available, recommendations of a competent person. If it is not reasonably practicable, annually. In Regulation 213, a competent person is a person who has acquired through training, qualification or experience the knowledge and skills to carry out the task. A person with management or control of a registered mobile crane or tower crane must ensure that a major inspection of the crane is carried out by a competent person or under the supervision of a, of a competent person. At the end of the design life recommended by the manufacturer for the crane or if there is no manufacturer's recommendations, recommendations of a competent person. If it is not reasonably practicable, 10 yearly from the date that the crane was first commissioned or first registered, whichever occurred first. In this regulation, competent person is a person who has acquired through training qualification or experience the knowledge and skills to carry out a major inspection of the plant and is eligible for professional engineer membership of Engineers Australia or determined by the regulator. The person with management or control of the registered items of plant must keep records of all tests, inspections, maintenance, commissioning, decommissioning and dismantling. And these records must be available for inspections under WHS Act. 
These records also must be kept for the period that the plant is used or until the person relinquishes control of the plant. Some additional information can be found in these links. Health and Safety Bulletin for lifting, lowering or suspending loads will be available soon. In summary, in order to use the crane safely, ensure the crane is registered if required, make sure the safe operation of the crane, maintain and inspect periodically. Keep records. Crane safety protects workers and other people and reduces business risks. I encourage you to look at the available links and subscribe our newsletter for more information. Thank you for watching.